The story of Aeneas is one of the most significant in Greek mythology and is related to the events that preceded the Trojan War. Aeneas was a Trojan prince, son of the mortal Anchises and the goddess Aphrodite. From birth, Aeneas was destined to play a crucial role in the history of Troy and its subsequent fate in Italy. The story begins with the famous episode of the Trojan Horse. After the Greeks besieged the city of Troy for a decade, they finally built a huge wooden horse as a gift of apparent surrender. The Trojans, tricked by the wily Odysseus, accepted it and brought it inside their walls. Aeneas, suspicious and foreseeing a deception, had a prophetic dream that warned him of the trap of the wooden horse. However, other Trojans, including Prince Paris, ignored his warnings and brought the horse into the city. That night, as the Trojans celebrated their apparent victory, Greek warriors hidden inside the horse emerged and opened the city gates for the Greek army to enter and sack Troy. During the chaos and destruction that followed the fall of the city, Aeneas became a courageous leader, protecting his family and people from enemy attacks. Carrying his aged father Anchises on his shoulders and holding his son Ascanius by the hand, he fought his way through fire and battle to escape the ruined city. Amidst the chaos and devastation, Aeneas led his group to an uncertain, but hopeful destination. On their way to freedom, the Trojans faced numerous dangers. Greek warriors pursued them and the city burned in flames behind them. However, Aeneas did not give up and led his people with determination and courage. During the journey, the Trojans encountered several gods and mythical beings who intervened in their fate. Aphrodite protected her son and assisted him in times of trouble, while Poseidon, the god of the sea, calmed the stormy waters to allow the Trojans to reach their next destination safely. One of the most exciting moments of Aeneas' escape was when they met the mother of his beloved wife, Andromache, the widow of the Trojan hero Hector. She was accompanied by her son Astyanact, the last descendant of the noble Trojan lineage. The meeting was emotional and full of sadness, but it also reinforced Aeneas' resolve to seek a new home and protect his people. Throughout their journey, Aeneas and the Trojans faced storms, challenges, and losses, but also found allies and refuge in different lands. Finally, they reached Carthage, only a temporary stay, as the gods showed Aeneas that his destiny was to reach Italy. Thus, Aeneas left Carthage and continued his journey to Italy. Despite adversity, he never gave up his mission and remained steadfast in his purpose of founding a new city that would be the home of his people and would begin the great Roman civilization. Once in Italy, Aeneas sought to establish friendly relations with the various local kingdoms and peoples. However, the prophecy that destined him to conquer these lands caused tensions and hostilities along the way. The first major challenge he faced was with Turnus, the king of the Richelieu who already ruled in the region of Italy where Aeneas aspired to establish his new city. Turnus, jealous of the Trojans' presence and fearing to lose his kingdom, engaged them in a fierce battle. Aeneas proved his courage and skill as a warrior in the fight against Turnus and his allies, but he also had to face numerous setbacks and adversities. The gods, including Zeus, also intervened in this contest, sometimes supporting Aeneas and sometimes supporting Turnus which made the battle even more unpredictable and challenging. Amid the conflict, Aeneas also found support in the Latin queen Lavinia, who fell in love with him. However, the situation became complicated as she was already betrothed to Turnus, which led to an even more intense confrontation between the two leaders. Finally, after numerous battles and sacrifices, Aeneas emerged victorious in an epic confrontation against Turnus. This final duel sealed the fate of both leaders and paved the way for the foundation of the new city that Aeneas had so painstakingly sought. Aeneas established the city of Lavinium in honor of Queen Lavinia, but his legacy did not end there. Aeneas' legacy as the founder of the Trojan dynasty in Italy continued through the generations, and eventually led to the founding of Rome by Romulus, Aeneas' direct descendant. The escape from Troy was an epic full of thrills and challenges for Aeneas, but it also marked the beginning of a momentous journey that would lead to his destiny as the founder of the city that would become Rome, one of the most powerful and enduring empires in history. The story of Aeneas is a legacy of courage, loyalty, and determination, 
reminding us that even in the darkest of times, hope will lead us to a brighter future.